it's a day after New Comic Book Day. Well, as I said yesterday, sorry we uh, picked up the box and went to see a movie last night, which you watch later tonight. You'll see the review of Contraband, a new movie we've reviewed for our ex, which will be on later. But I know why you're here. You've been waiting for it, an entire day extra waiting for it. You want my opinion on comic books. Okay, here we go. All right, we're going to start off with the uh, Marvels this week. They're wrapping up the Avengers 1959. Like I said, it was a fun read. I like Chicken's work most of the time. This was a time I did like it. Good read, fun, enjoyable series. Yes, I'm plugging a Marvel book. How nice. Okay, Secret Avengers. Ah, it was all right. The artwork's improved a bit over the past couple issues. It's still a good book. The New Avengers. Okay, storyline, New Avengers, Dark Avengers. Really, Marvel? Journey to Mystery. I've been liking this series, but I have one complaint this time. And that is, is when they break the fourth wall and you have a character saying, I didn't do it in this issue. Okay, this is not a film where you can talk to the audience and you expect some feedback. It's a book. We don't need that. Captain America. Nice hard work, storyline where he loses his power on and off. Kind of boring. Okay, new number one came out. As you know, there's some books I haven't reviewed in the past, like the Spider-Man stuff and the X-Men stuff, because there's just way too many crossovers. But I did pick up Scarlet Spider number one. Because for all the old-time Spider-Man fans who liked the idea of it, who got tired of all the repeating storylines and all the crossover books, this is a new Spider-Man. You know, Kane becomes Ben Riley. It's going to be its own series. Keep him out of New York. It'll be a good one. The yard works nice and consistent. And the storyline, not so bad right now. That one's not too bad. Incredible Hulk. Incredible boring read. And that sums up the Marvels for this week. Aren't you happy I'm finished with the Marvels? Yes, boys and girls. It's a wonderful day in the man cave. Okay, The Rays 1 and 2 miniseries. All I gotta say is, what was wrong with the last Ray? His costume was cooler. It was a better looking, you know, character. This costume and character just doesn't do it for me. Oh, Resurrection Man, please kill and stay dead. Okay, as you know, I'm a fan of OMAC. Well, OMAC's in Frankenstein this week. And for those of you who kind of recognize they're playing a trick on the covers in OMAC, you know, Frankenstein had, well, they're having fun with the covers. Legion Lost, good consistent read. The big hidden gem of this week is the shade. Darwin Cook artwork on the inside, and if you guys don't know him, Final Frontier artist. It's a nice retro look. Let me find a nice one here. Oh, look at that panel, the Vigilante. Okay, hidden gem. Actually, not a bad series. Another series I've been liking, story-wise, Demon Knights. I'm not gonna say more about it. I like it. Okay. This one improved. Grifters 1 to 4 I wasn't impressed with. Grifter 5 actually wasn't that bad. It wasn't good, but it wasn't that bad. Fat Woman, beautiful book. Beautiful artwork. Storyline's getting interesting. A more serious bat title. DC Universe Legends Online. Actually, not a bad series. I know it's a video game spinoff, but... Okay. Disappointing cover from DC, but a fun read. My Grace Adventures. Okay, a comic book that is not getting better. It's digging a hole, and it should have its own Deathstrokes, too. And kill it, you know, Deathstroke, get the pun. Mad Munchal Girl got it. She's giggling. It's been a long day. Batman and Robin. Yeah, consistent good read. I've been enjoying it. Ah, the Green Lantern. Uh, I'll be a spoiler. Don't like the ending on this one. Suicide Squad. Oh, I got a weak spot for this book. I don't know why. It's not well written. It's not well drawn, but it's a Suicide Squad. Hey, okay, Superboy. I found a way of making this thing work. You have to pretend that the other Superboy we know has gone into the future to be with the Legion. This is another clone. Get it? Another clone. Okay, Batgirl. And I'm giving this the cover of the week. I just like the look of it. But I did like the look of it. It's a nice cover. 
It's a good read. The new villain, I'm not too impressed with. And, of course, the worst book of the week. <laughs> Why? Why? This character's wearing a loincloth on his butt, nothing in the front. It's Mr. Horrific. Oh, sorry, that's terrific. Okay. The character on the front does not look like anything they drew on the inside. This book, please, please. Really, DC, cancel it. The only good thing about this book I found when I read it was at the back of the book, DC Comics has put a whole page of sketch sneak peeks of 2012. Why no loincloth in the front? Isn't that what you're supposed to cover? Well, Mr. Terrific is trying to hide something behind him. Ha ha ha. Okay, that's it for the comic books for this week, folks. Thanks for waiting. Come back next week. And for those of you who care, come back later tonight, early, early morning, for a review of Contraband. We'll also be doing a quick little summary of War Horse for you later. Mad Montreal Man, RX Comics, the best place in town for books. And you know what? Toys. You know, we don't, we don't mind freebies. Hello. Goodbye. Have a good night.